What's up everybody, it is the Gold 60 here for Sunday, July the 22nd, 2018. So yesterday we did have the four unofficial plays as B-bets. They did split going two and two. We also had a double header play where we had the run line in the second game and that team came out and got the outright win. Today we actually picked up another double header play and we'll see about taking that this evening and also those two unofficials on their C-bets. Yesterday, as far as the unofficial plays, like I said before, we did have the four that were going. They did split. The two wins came from the Yankees, who won 7-6, to six, and also the A's, who won in the 11th inning, 4-3. to three. Now, the other two games, the two losses, the first one was the Minnesota Twins, who lost 4-2 to two to the Royals. They have, you know, for whatever reason, had a little bit of trouble with the Royals. And today they go off as a minus 137 favorite. So they're still right there in the 130 range. They have been for the first two games. They start off around 139, and then yesterday a little bit lower at 133. Now today at 137. So it's still right there at it. Hopefully they can get the win, and we can move on into the start of this week. The other unofficial play that's going today as well is the Arizona Diamondbacks. Now both of their first two games they lost by one run. The first game they lost 11 to 10. Yesterday they lost six to five. So they're right there at it. They're just, for whatever reason, not coming up with a win. Today they go off a little bit higher. They're minus 175 at home against a divisional team. They know they need this at least this win. So I really feel like that's gonna be a little bit stronger play today. I felt like yesterday, when they played Friday, they'd play a little bit better or get the win. They came up short, but I think today they'll be okay. Again, these are all unofficial. This I went over that a million times. I just want you to keep that in mind. Now, starting up tomorrow, we'll be you know, back to the original or the regular way. We'll have official plays. We'll have unofficial plays and revenge plays and moving on. All right, so yesterday we did have a doubleheader play, and that was with the Cubs and the Cardinals. Now, the first game, both games, actually, the Cubs were favored. In the first game, they came out, took care of business, and won the thing 7-2. to two. That gave everybody an opportunity to jump on the Cardinals for the second game. Now, the Cubs did stay the favorite, and so you would look at the uh, run line for the Cardinals, and it was at minus 161. I seen it at minus 155. It was right there in our range, so I went ahead and pulled the trigger and went with it at minus 160 on mine. And we did get the outright win. Uh, that did they did win six to three, and you know they played overall a pretty good game. At one point, I think it was the sixth inning, they were up one nothing or something like that, and the Cubs had the bases loaded with one out. They got out of a jam like that, you know, and, and moved on and actually came out and scored a lot more runs at the end of the game. So Matt Carpenter seems to be having a great, you know, couple weeks uh, before and after the All-Star break. I think that was the sixth straight game where he scored an RBI or something of that nature. I'd have seen the highlight and the headline when I was getting ready for this video. But either way, today we actually pick up another doubleheader game, and that is with the Phillies and the Padres. It got rained out yesterday, so they're playing game one around 11 Central, 12 Eastern. They're playing game two at 5 Central, 6 Eastern. So look at that. Pay attention to it. It looks like the Phillies are a pretty heavy favorite in both of those games. So I don't know if this will be a play. I don't know how that's – especially if the Padres somehow come out and get the first win. It's probably going to be too expensive on the second game for the Phillies. But if the Phillies get the win and then we're looking at the run line, it may be something to look at there as far as taking the Padres in the second game. So just keep a watch on that. It's just like yesterday where you do have a little bit extra time. I like those a lot better than the 30 minutes after the game ends type scenario. These generally set up for us a little bit better. Give us a little bit more extra time to look, search around, especially if you've got you know, accounts at multiple places or if you're jumping from casino to casino, whatever you're doing, you may get a better line and you got a little bit of time to find it. As far as tomorrow, Monday the 23rd, we do have three four-game series and three two-game series. That means that that leaves us with nine three-game series that will be starting up. Two of those are revenge plays, but I really feel like it's going to be a stretch to 
probably to get either one. The first one is Baltimore against Boston. That one's going to be because of the RPI. And the second one is the Yankees. Actually got swept a few weeks ago by the Rays. They are on the revenge side this time. But the price is probably going to knock us out there. But either way, that is two potential revenge plays. In those nine series, it will be starting up. I really feel like we'll have a handful of games to take. And we'll get the first half of the week started right. Well, that is everything that I've got today. Remember that we do have that doubleheader opportunity with the Phillies and the Padres this evening. We've got the two C-bets that are unofficial with the Twins and the uh, Diamondbacks. And just as a side note, and you guys know by now, if you've been watching me any amount of time, that I don't bring this up because I don't want to just push it out there, but I do put it in my description every day, and that is that I am an affiliate with fanatics.com so all of your team apparel and all that good stuff well anyways i got a email this morning where they are having a major sale and there's a lot of things that are up to 75 percent off so if you are looking for some of that stuff you need some new t-shirts for this upcoming football season or finishing out baseball season check out that link in the description just click it there's no codes there's nothing all it is is it shows where you come from to get to their website and that's how I get my commission. And that is a way that some people have, you know, people express ways that they wanted to actually support my channel. And I'm definitely grateful for that. And this is a way that you can do that. It gets you something that you've been wanting. And at the same time, I do get a small commission for doing so. So if you will, please check that out and uh, see if you find anything you like. And that's all you got to do. Like I said, just click the link and you're good to go. Other than that, have a great Sunday. Let's finish up these couple unofficial plays, and let's jump into the official plays early this week. See you tomorrow. 60% of the time, it works every time.